And this is something like G for ARF, but it is normally done uh, with respect to different uh, understanding. It is not done with the profiling angle, basically, but you can use it to get some profiling information also. Okay. So this tool, G coverage, will do a code coverage. Okay. So normally, when you run the code, it will do a code coverage. Okay. And it will. Uh... So what we have to do is. Uh... So whenever you do this kind of a code coverage, right, using GCOV, right, what normally would happen is uh, it'll it'll try to find how much percentage of the code has been covered. That kind of a detailing you will get here. Okay, so how much lines of the function, what lines has been executed. So this is basically used to get a detail like line coverage, code coverage, function coverage. Okay, all those things you can get here. Okay, so now what is the advantage of this? Okay, so the advantage of this kind of coverage tools are because this uh, GPORF doesn't give such kind of a detail. GCOV gives such kind of a detail where it will do a coverage. Um, um understanding okay so what is the advantage of getting the coverage is that because the reason is the when how do you use this tool okay you run a program okay and we normally run some set of test cases okay and once you run the set of test cases you just do a code coverage and you figure out did your test cases cover all part of the program did it cover all use cases okay was any part of the code which was untested because the reason is whenever you see a failure in the field right it will be because of not the program what you have tested and it's working fine it will be because of the program which is not un which is untested okay and you don't have any test cases to test those scenarios okay so by using this code coverage, you will get a complete detail telling that after execution of the program, how much part of the code was covered, did all the things got covered, how much part was not fully covered, that kind of a detailing we can get using this GCOV. Okay? So it is very good tool. So using this, you will get a lot of details and you can just check out what is happening and everything you can try to understand. So basically, whenever I and this coverage also is part of your GCC, whenever I want to uh, enable the code coverage, right? For GCC, I need to pass this option called minus minus coverage and moment you do that you will get a lot of files like gnu gcdf files all these files you will get so using that and this is kind of a uh, uh, what do you tell uh, kind of a uh, this is a kind of an, uh, uh, profiling information what will get stored and this most of the time you might get an information or you may not get the information okay so what we can do is we can use this gco Okay, and then uh, using this G curve, I can uh, we can use pass this option, and we can check out if everything is uh, uh, we, by using this option, you can get the data and see what exactly the code coverage data looks like. Okay, but this is a uh, this is like a manual thing. If you want to get an automated tool in case of an in in a form of a web page, right? We have to use this option, and moment you do execute this option, you would get an um, your profiling data in a form of an HTML page. You can have a look and see how exactly things are working fine. Okay, so I will just show this uh, one example here. Uh, here, this is the you will get a profiling data here. Okay, so how many calls was called? Which syscall was called? How many time did your syscall take? And how much? What percent of time it is spent? If you look here, right, right is the one which took a majority of the time. Okay, so this is also one kind of profiling data what you can get by using S trace to analyze it. I will show this example later. Now let me show you that G cow example. Then you will get a clear picture. Okay, so now if you do this cat make file, right it's here, I've enabled this coverage and the coverage data should come. So if I do it, okay, and if I run the program test, so here initially you will have this initial data. Okay, this is an initial data that will be generated at the time of compilation. After running, you will get one more set of data called GCDA. Here, you get this data called GCDA. Okay, now, I have a profiling, uh, I have a old data provided by new data. Okay. Now what I have to do is let me use this utility to generate the web pages, web page information, which you can, which will by using which I will get to know how the thing worked. Okay. So now it has generated all the necessary information. Now, if I go to that folder and then let me refresh what happened. Okay. Is it a reading file? Ah, okay, okay. I I need to use Gen to HTML. Okay. 
No, no, no. Because reason is after this, right? I have to generate this gen HTML actually. That's the reason. Okay, now you would have got a web pages. I'll just go now, sorry for that. Open something, let me open this, uh, let me close this, let me open index.html. Yeah, see here, you will get a web page, something like this. Right? Yeah. So, and it will tell, what is the line coverage? Line coverage is only 63.6% of the lines are covered, okay? And uh, only 66.7% of the function is covered, okay? So out of 11, uh, 11 lines, only seven line is covered, okay? Out of three functions, only two functions are covered by the test, uh, by the run, whatever I did. Now, if I go here and see what is it, so here in the test dot say hundred percent of lines are fully covered. Okay. So all the functions are covered. So there's some problem in lib, lib dot C. So if I come back here, if I see here, this function is, uh, if you see here, right, this part of the Google code got covered. This part of the code got covered. This part of the code didn't get covered. Okay. And this function was never called. Okay. Why it was not called? Because the reason is I told go to test. It came here. Okay. So the moment it came here, it didn't cover any of those things. So whatever I do, right, I can never execute this part of the code. It's like a dead code. So I have to relook into so moment I get such kind of an alarm, right? I have to look here and see why this code was really required. So if you, according to this, if you tell go to test, right, it'll go here. That means this code of the part of the code is a dead code. Then we need to analyze and see why is it required? Is it really required? Is this statement wrong? Or is this something really went wrong? That is something which we need to analyze. Okay. So now well, let me do a little bit of uh, analysis. Let me do a make lane. Okay. So now let me go to this libc.c. Then let us assume that I found out that this is not a correct thing. I will come here and this part of the code is also not required. I do make, okay. Then I run the program. Then after that, I will generate it. Now I will generate the HTML page. I will go back here. Yeah, see here. Now, if you go to this here, fully 100%, all the lines are covered and all the functions are covered this is how it look okay so idle scenario you should get 100 uh, whenever you write run any of the test cases or your program right all the lines should be covered provided and and all the functions should be covered this is an idle case okay so but that is not that happens most of the times okay so some part of the code may not be covered you have to look at your test case and see why it is not covered what is the scenario you didn't test okay it means that something you have not tested okay so we need to have a closer look and figure out like what really we didn't test what went wrong all those things we have to do it okay so that is something we have to check in this particular scenarios yeah so that is one part of which we have to look at here okay so yeah any questions and this similarly right same like this you have something called you can have code coverage even on linux also for that uh, there is so for linux it's called kcow sorry kcow Wait, let me show you. There is a KCOW. You have to enable this feature inside a kernel. Okay. So if you go to this, uh, see here, normally there are a lot of testing. There are a lot of test suits. So you have to, there are two parts in this. First thing is you have to enable the code coverage in Linux. Okay. So once you enable here, gcob is equal to config underscore kcob is equal to y. Okay. Then after that, once you do all those things, uh, you all the data profiling data will come in this debug fs. Okay. So now what you have to do is, so once all these things are available, you have to, there are a lot of tests to what you can do. There are some fuzzy logic. Okay. So I hope you people know all of this thing. Like uh, there are some fuzzy, fuzzy logic uh, to test. Uh, so basically this is uh, one of the test strategy normally what people use, okay? So you test it, run all your scenarios and check if you are, if you are using all part of the kernel or what is the code coverage of the kernel. So which part of the kernel is available? Is there any dead code? All those things you can analyze here, okay? So this is something which you need to understand. And there is 
a specific strategy while testing also. For example, if you look at here, right, the talk, for example, similar to unit testing, right, there is something called K unit available in Linux, or else there is something called K self test, which is available in Linux, which will run and it will take if the, all the Linux kernel parts are working fine. Okay. So you can enable the code coverage in between and you can check out if everything is fine, or else you can enable some dynamic analysis tools and figure out if the kernel is working fine. And this is a standard step, sir. When the new kernel comes, right, the kernel the testers will do this strategy. Okay, they will do all the scenarios and they see how the things are working, and they will check out every if everything is are uh, working as per the expectation as I see in this particular scenarios. Okay, so but what I was to tell is similar to the Linux kernel code coverage, right? There is some kind of a code coverage inside the Linux. You can do this also. Okay, and there are some unit test frameworks also, even for this, which is called K unit or K self test. You can do the test using this also. And while doing this test to check the effectiveness of the test, right? You can enable the code coverage and see if all the codes are covered by your unit test cases. If it is not, means that you have missed some test cases and you have to write the test cases even for that. Okay, so that is what it literally means. Yeah, got this point actually? Yes. Okay, yeah, great. So this is one part actually about the code coverage. Okay. And you can use saw like how, what is the usefulness of code coverage and other things. Yeah. And one thing actually, I don't know whether I've shared this slide at any point of time. But this uh, is taken from uh, this particular GitHub site, actually. Okay.